Hello everyone, in a candid interview on News Central TV, the National Publicity Secretary of the Organizing Dibu Worldwide, Ales Obunaya, Chief Ales Obunaya, advocated for a political agreement in which the federal government acknowledges Namdekanu's role in representing the concerns and grievances of the Igbo youth in the southern and the southeastern Nigeria. He urged the government to address the region's issues and work, and work towards ending perceived injustice. He emphasized the need for equity in Nigeria, reminding the nation of the significant contributions made by the Igbo people as founding fathers. He underscored the importance of recognizing the Igbo's continual efforts in the development of the country and ensuring that political solutions promote fairness and justice for all citizens. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. I beg. Share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on in the Nigerian political landscape. Igbo leaders, they are still talking about Mazin Namdekanu's release and about the marginalizations, the injustice being, you know, levied against the, the southeastern Nigeria. And that is the reason why they are children led by Mazin Namdekano, he's agitating for Biafra Nation. They want a nation, you know, that they will be on their own. You understand? They don't want to be in a country where, where they are not recognized. They are being pushed aside as if they are not Nigerians. So that is even the reason why the Nigerian government should understand, you know, the, 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 the reason for these agitations and they still just have to look into it. In a candid interview on News Central TV, the National Publicity Secretary of the Organizing Dibu Worldwide, Ales Ubunaya, Chief Ales Ubunaya, advocated for a political agreement in which the federal government acknowledges Namdi Kanu's role in representing the concerns and grievances of the Igbo youth in southeastern Nigeria. He urged the government to address the region's issues and work towards ending perceived injustice. He emphasized the need for equity in Nigeria, reminding the nation of the significant contributions made by the Igbo people as founding fathers. He underscored the importance of recognizing the Igbo's continual effort in the development of the country and ensuring that political solutions promote fairness and justice for all citizens. He said, the political agreement we are looking for is where the federal government will understand that Namdi Kanu represents what is happening in the southeast of Nigeria. He represents the agitation of the Igbo youth of the southeast he represents how people are aggrieved by what is happening in Nigeria. When we are talking about political solutions, it is how to bring an end to, the, to this injustice. The political solutions we are talking about is there, is there must be equity in Nigeria. Nigerians must remember that Igbos are the founding fathers of this country and even ever since then, we have never been helping to develop. We have been helping to develop this country, he said. Okay, guys, you've all heard what he said. He's just trying to let Nigerian government understand that Mazinam Dikano is um, a victim of marginalization. You understand? And Nam Dikano and those who are agitating for their region in the southeast, they did not just stand up carrying flag because they want to disturb the nation. So something led to something. What is it? What is the problem? I remember that was, it should be some years ago when um, uh, 
the former governor of Abia State, Okeze Ikbazo, he hopefully said it boldly. He said, see, told President uh, Muhammad Buhari, are we still going to, you know, uh, fold our eyes to say uh, the Igbos are not being marginalized? Are we going to say that what Mazinam the Kano is saying is a lie? That you should help him as if, you know, he's just trying to disturb Nigeria? Are you saying that Nigeria is not being marginalized? Because if you look at it, Nigeria, uh, please pardon me, the Southeast is marginalized. Look at the Southeast today. You understand? Look at, you can't find any Southeasterner in any good position in Nigeria. Everything they go, they go push them aside. But those of them who have managed to be somewhere and all that, feeling that they are comfortable, you know, in their little space, they will always defend this. They don't want to leave their comfort zone and they don't want to be the black sheep of the family when they speak. So they will always want to cover it, cover it up. But it's not fair. If you and your family is uh, doing well, what about your people? Your own people. And you, you, to you, you feel that you have succeeded. So Nigerian government should look into all this wahala. You understand? They should look into all these problems. If eventually Namdi Kano is released today, it's not going to end the agitations in Nigeria if all these things are not being looked into. You understand? An Igbo man cannot build in Lagos because you are an Igbo person. You want to take over their land. And this land, we are sold to them. You get. An Igbo man, if you, if, if you establish any business in the north, is threatened. Your business is threatened because they are afraid of an Igbo man. You can now understand the reason why their people are now saying, make una come back home, come, uh, come invest. Because these people, they can push you out anytime, any day. Chief Alex Obunaya is telling Nigeria, he says, see, now we be founding father of this Nigeria. And the Igbos, they have done so much in developing this country. Why can't you people, you know, see us as one? Well, Nigerians, how do I see this matter? I beg, kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. I beg, share this video. Let it go viral. Let